This is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. And this is a healing prayer for the wounded heart. Now, before you, we actually do the prayer for those of you that don't know Jesus Christ and also for those of you that want to reaffirm your your faith in Christ. I want you to say this. This is the first step. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe you are the Son of God and the only way to God and that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again so that I might be forgiven and receive eternal life. I confess my past life of sin, living for myself and not obeying you, Father. Lord, I admit that I am ready to trust Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I ask Jesus to come into my heart take up residence there and begin living through me and i thank you for it father in jesus name i pray the next step will be to humble yourself renounce i renounce all pride and religious self-righteousness and any, any dignity that does not come from you i have no claim on your mercy except that you died in my place number three confess any known sin I confess all my sins before you and hold nothing back, especially I confess. So that particular sin that you have been struggling with, you want to confess that to Father God. And if you have another believer that can go through this prayer, that will be most beneficial for you. You will have that support and also uh, the word of the Lord says when we confess our faults to one another, we will experience his healing power. So it's very good to confess uh, known sins so that we can get it out in the open and the enemy is no longer hiding it in our hearts and we're not hiding it in our souls. The next step is to repent of all sins. I repent of all my sins. I turn away from them and I turn to you, Lord, for mercy and forgiveness. Number five, you want to forgive all other people. If there are people that you're holding unforgiveness toward, you, in order to, for you to experience the healing and deliverance power of the Lord in your life, you must be willing to forgive. God will not overlook this. And if you try to bypass this, you will not experience the healing power of the Lord. So let's say this, by a decision of my will and by faith, I freely forgive all who have ever harmed or wronged me. I lay down all bitterness, all resentment, and all hatred. Specifically, I forgive. You want to name that person that you've really been holding grudges against. Name that person and say, Father, by faith, I forgive whoever the person is and release it to the Father. Number six, break with the occult and all false religion. And you want to stay before the Father, I sever all contact I have ever had with the occult or with all false religion. Particularly, particularly, you want to name that um, occult or false religion that you have been involved with. Conf confessing it as sin and stating that you're, from this day, moment forward, you're severing all contact. And you want to say, I commit myself to get rid of all objects and material associated with the occult or false religion. And even as you state this, you want to get rid of all the occult objects and material even before you go through this prayer. Because if you continue to allow occulted things in your possession or in your home, the enemy will continue to uh, have a legal right to remain in your life, to remain in your household. So you want to get rid of these objects, whether it's books or uh, some type of jewelry, whatever it may be that the Holy Spirit is, is telling you to get rid of, you need to go ahead and take action. Number seven, prepare to be released from every curse over your life. Lord Jesus, we are doing this prayer in faith, believing God uh, to remove the strong holes, the, the demonic forces, the generational curses that has been uh, dominating your life so that you can experience a powerful and victorious life 
in Jesus Christ's name. So you want to say, Lord Jesus, I thank you that on the cross you were made a curse, that I might be redeemed from every curse and inherit your blessings. On that basis, I ask you to release me and set me free to receive the deliverance that I need today and every day forward in Jesus' name. And number eight, take your stand with God. You want to stay and say, I take my stand with you, Lord, against all Satan's demons. I submit to you, Lord, and resist the devil. Amen. So this is, these are some of the things that you need to do before you go into the actual prayer that I'm presenting to you today. And in order for you to maintain your deliverance, you want to live by God's word, put on the garment of praise, come under discipline. You need to be in a local body, a church, that you can be supported by other strong believers. Uh, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Cultivate right fellowship. Some associations that you're involved with, you need to cut those associations off. Uh, ungodly soul ties need to be severed from your life. Get water baptized if you have not been baptized. Get filled with the, with the presence and the abiding of the Holy Spirit because we don't want any clean, vacant places in our hearts and soul. When the enemy, so when the enemy sees that, he has a legal right to come back in. But we want to fill our hearts with the Word of God and with the, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and put on the whole armor of God. And you, God, will empower you to stand in this last evil day. Be blessed as you go through this prayer. And I pray, Father, for a hedge of protection. Lord, a divine protection over every individual that's going through this prayer. Father, we I come against the powers of darkness that will try to hinder, us, hinder the individuals that are going through this prayer. I break off that assignment in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just apply the blood of Jesus over their mind, spirit, and body. Thank you, Lord. Send forth your uh, warring angels, Lord, in their presence, protecting them, Lord, from the onslaught of the enemy. I thank you, Lord, for your mighty hand of deliverance and what is about to take place in the lives of those that are seeking your healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are present with me even now. I reaffirm that you are my Lord and Savior, and I surrender my life to you this day and every day forward. In my heart, I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. Father, you are filled with great love and compassion, and you are a God that is ready to pardon and forgive me of my sin and iniquity. You alone are all-knowing, and all powerful and everywhere present, and I worship you alone. Father, place your protecting angels in this room to protect me and everyone in this home. I ask that you forgive not only me, but my ancestors and grandparents on my father and mother's lineage, going all the way back to Adam. Forgive the iniquities of my parents also. I thank you, Lord, that you do graciously forgive us and you are cleansing our bloodline. Let the cleansing rain of the Holy Spirit wash over me, my children, and future generations. I receive the refreshing rain at this very moment. Holy Spirit, I invite you to come now and rest upon me and abide within me. Father. You said everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Now, Lord, I turn to you because you are my great deliverer and healer. I surrender my will, emotions, and body to you for the complete healing of my life. Father God, only you can make me completely whole in every area of my life. 
I submit myself to your authority. I forgive those who have hurt and wounded my soul. I forgive. I release the deep wounding and offense unto you, Lord, by faith. I loose myself from the bondage of this pain and bitterness by faith, and I choose not to be chained to this individual. I break the power of evil soul ties that keeps me in bondage to this person and Jesus' powerful name. I sever the demonic cords that binds me to this individual in Jesus' name. I cut off every evil attachment by the powerful word of God that is sharper than any two-edged sword. I command every soul tie, every evil soul tie, so lead me now in Jesus' name. Father God, break these links that binds between soul and spirit. I declare it is done in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your delivering and healing power over my soul. I am free in Jesus' name. Father God, continue to heal my emotional wounds. I command strongholds of emotional bondage to be broken in Jesus' name. I choose to forgive those who abused and offended me. Lord, I do it by faith in Jesus' name. I command spirits of unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, and malice to lead me now in Jesus' name. You no longer have a legal right to remain in my life, so I command all related spirits to go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of bitterness to be uprooted from my life. Go in Jesus' name. Wash me, Jesus, with your precious blood that cleanses and purifies. Even now, I pray. Thank you, Father. I sense your presence, Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are present to heal and restore even at this very moment. For I rest in you, Lord, and breathe in your healing power. At this very moment, I speak to the strongholds that has been dominating my life. I command strongholds of emotional instability, causing personality disorders to come down in Jesus' name. I sever the dominating control of strongholds in my life in Jesus' name. I break your power over my life and no weapon that you form, you have formed against me will continue to prosper in Jesus' name. I command emotional walls to come down in Jesus' name. Bitterness, I cut you off at the root by the sword of the Spirit in Jesus' name. I speak to spirits of depression, hopelessness, despair, despondency, self-destruction, suicide, suicidal thoughts, worthlessness, schizophrenia, manic depression, MPD, insanity, nervousness, nervous breakdowns, compulsion, obsession, senility, brain damage, broken heart, wounded spirit, betrayal, bruised emotions, deep hurt. You must go now in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Father God, heal any chemical imbalances or brain damage. I also pray for healing of any soul fragmentation. All spirits that are behind torment, affliction, and harassment of the mind, spirit and body you are bound and rendered ineffective i command you to go in Jesus' name i declare 
that the weapons of my warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Every argument and lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God must come down. I take every thought captive and command obedience to Jesus Christ. Every lie from the enemy in my mindset, I command to be silenced in Jesus' name. I break the curse of verbal, physical, and sexual abuse. I come against the generational curse of abuse. You will no longer operate nor destroy my life. I command you to go now in Jesus' name. Father God, I thank you that I am loved and accepted in the beloved, Jesus Christ. I declare that I am not rejected because Jesus paid the ultimate price for my acceptance in you. I now command all spirits behind rejection, self-rejection, pride, jealousy, envy, control, and manipulation, rebellion, and disobedience to go in Jesus' name. Father God, forgive the sins and iniquities of my ancestors, grandparents, parents, and myself that allow rejection to control and dominate them and pass it on in my bloodline. Today, I take a stand against this generational curse of rejection and its related spirits. I renounce it and cancel out every legal right in the powerful name of Jesus. I command these spirits to loose their hold on me, my children, and my future generations. I command the pain of a broken heart to go in Jesus' name. 